Okay, so we're going to start off another um, section here. So if we're going to start off another section, we're just going to go through and look at how this operation works. Um, vector by vector. All right, so I'm going to start with three vectors. Um, these vectors I'm going to label A, B, and C. And this time I'll use the quaternion sort of notation um, where, you know, I'm saying we've got three meters in the I direction and two meters in the minus um, K direction and stuff like that, right? Uh, I means um, X, J means Y, K means Z. Um, this is not my favorite notation, but it is historical. And it does show up a lot, and probably it's what you saw in um, physics class for physics one or physics two or whatever it was, where they were foisting vectors upon you. Um, I like those x, y's, and z's. I like the unit vector notations with the u's or the e's. Um, i's, j's, k's. I don't, but your book uses them, so every once in a while, I think I should use them as well. Uh, one of the nice things about your book is that it actually has um, different um, notations, right? So you've got your, uh, it uses the IJK notation and it uses the um, list notation. Um, the list notation I like, that when I was in school, that was the one that I used um, almost exclusively, right? Um, so that and and that just has to do with you know what I thought was a useful thing to use right um, so uh, you know realize that you know there are a few situations where which uh, which notation you use is important um, well, maybe not so important, but it, I mean, it changes how um, easy it is to do a problem, but almost almost all of the time, it doesn't really matter, all right? So uh, just keep that in mind, is that, you know, get used to a set of notations that you think are really, really um, helpful, and stick with those unless you have a professor who um, says only use these, or you have WebAssign, like you are probably, if you're taking the class this was originally made for, getting to do, because it's mostly online. All right, so let's go ahead and draw these three vectors that I wrote over here. Um, let's see, so my first vector is uh, three meters in the I direction, one, two, three, and then two meters, or minus two meters in the K direction, one, two, and then there's no Y component. So this guy here is our A. It's looking pretty good. I, I think he looks pretty, pretty fine. He's stressed out pretty well. All right, so then in the z direction, three, four, we have uh, b. b is going straight up. Um, and he looks like that. That looks that, and that's still looking wonderful. And c is the guy who's going to make our life hard, right? So he says, okay, I'm going to go minus one in the i direction here, then I'm going to go two in the j direction there, one, two, and then I'm going to go one more down. So the actual spot is right there. And yeah, that's not the best looking vector and it's probably in one of those part places it's you know the most difficult to figure out where exactly it's supposed to be. So ho hopefully you see that and that is C. Okay. So there we are. Those are our three vectors and how they relate to each other. Let's have some fun with them, right? Um, so this A, um, I specifically chose A because, um, you know, we can use A cross B with these um, small numbers of um, components. Uh, doing the longer method is probably a waste of time. So I'd like to go through and do this 
with this shorter method where these components are actually useful. Um, or where these um, unit vectors, showing the unit vectors is actually useful. Um, there are some other reasons why the unit vectors are useful. Um, and there's some nice conceptual things about them. But um, as far as the mathematics is concerned, it's not always true. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to foil this guy in here, right? So we have 3 meters, um, 4 meters, i hat cross k hat. So that's how we do it, i hat cross k hat there. Um, then we add in the next, the next one, which is minus 2 meters, um, then we go to times 4 meters. You, you've been distributing multiplications not since you were 8 or something like that, so I mean that, that's not much. It's pretty easy. Um, so we have these two things. So the first part about this is, you know, we have, um, we get to multiply these two guys together. That's 12 square meters, right? And then we have to figure out what I cross K is. And um, what's going to happen here is we're going to have to worry about um, cyclicity, right? The question is, is if we go left to right along this list, do we um, have to skip to get from I to K? And we do. So that means we have a minus one. And whenever we do this cross product, we take two unit vectors and it goes to the um, third different unit vector. So that's j hat. And then we have a minus there because we have a minus one because we had to skip something. Uh, if we went from j to k, it would be plus i. All right. Um, if we went from k to j, it would be. Um, it would be minus uh, minus i. If we went from k to i, it would be minus j, or plus j, excuse me. So then we have this other thing where k times k is equal to zero. So um, I guess that's a zero vector. Uh, so this whole thing is equal to zero. So this is the answer, is minus 12 meters in the j hat direction, in the j direction, in the y direction. So that's a, that's a pretty good result. Um, you'll notice that, you know, this guy's in the um, XC plane, plane, this guy's in the XC plane, our result is directly along the y-axis, and that's always going to be the case. If it, both of those vectors are in the XC plane, um, the third vector is going to be along the y-axis. Um, the cross product always produces a perpendicular vector. It's really, really nice. Okay, so now I wanted to do something that was a little more complicated, and that's why I did this a cross uh, a cross three c. Um, in this case, we actually are going to have to use this more complicated um, notation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this three out. So we have a we have a property that um, if we have one of these things is multiplied by a number, the result is multiplied by that number. I'm also going to pull the units out. Um, this guy's units is meet, or, or meters, this guy's units are meters. So I'm going to go 3 meters squared. Um, that's because what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to write this um, funny looking determinant thing, right? Um, and we'll talk more about that in the next chapter, but they do get, but the section does have this, um, has, have this procedure, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you this procedure step by step. Um, so we list out the directions here, then we um, go ahead and put our vectors in here. We have A and uh, C, so that's 3, 0, minus 2, 3, 0, and minus 2, right? And then our C is minus 1, 2, minus 1, okay? And so... Let's just go through this procedure, right? Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy and multiply it by these guys in some funny math manner. So, and then we'll do that for J, and then we'll go for it through for K. One, two, three, bang. So first we do I hat, so the direction. Then we multiply zero with the Y component of the first one by the um, uh, Z component of the second one there. So that means we have zero times minus one. Right? Then we subtract the backwards one, which is anti-cyclic actually, which is minus 2 meters and 2 meters, right? Um, and then we go on and do it for the next one. So we add in j hat times something. Okay, so i hat times some these, these things, j hat times 
these things. So that's cyclic, right? So again, we can pretend like there's another i here, and then we have um, 3 and minus 1 there, right? So um, so we have, if we take j, then we do this, then we have the exact same thing, right? Minus 2 times minus 1. Um, so we have minus 2 times minus 1. Uh, minus um, this backwards one, which is uh, 3 times minus 1, right? Then we go on to k. And we could do the same thing. I could write j here and write um, 0 and 2, or I can just do it um, this way here. So I have 3 times 2, 3 times 2, and I subtract 0 times 1, or minus one, excuse me, and so that's more or less um, what we what we need to do for that process. Now we just go ahead and do the math, right? So we do all the math for what's going on in the i direction. That's zero minus minus four, so that's four in the i hat direction, and then we have in the j hat direction we have. 2 minus 1 times minus 2 is 2 minus minus 1 minus 1 times 3 is 1 2 3 plus 1 2 which is 5 so we have plus 5 in the j hat direction right and then um, we have 6 minus 0 in the k hat direction so 6k and this is usually a um, perfectly reasonable answer but since you're dealing with computers, you never know exactly what they're going to want. So it's possible that they might want um, 12 meters squared in the i hat direction plus 3 times 5, 15 meters squared in the j hat direction, 3 times 6, plus 18 meters squared in the k hat direction. Okay? So that's um, more or less what these things are looking like. All right, so let's move all this up a little bit and get going with C. I knew you wanted C. Okay, so C. Um, th this is the place where last time I was um, battling about units. Um, I was um, thinking about this in particular, this particular problem. So you see how I've put this uh, magnitude of B here? Well, I've done that because each one of these vectors has units of meters, right? which means that um, if I take this and subtract um, a cross b, yeah, I can't do it because this has meters and this has square meters as their units. So I have to divide by some meter um, valued number. And the um, magnitude of b is going to be a really nice one in this case because it's 4, right? It, it, we don't have to do any work for it and it's a simple number. Um, so, so I've gone ahead and added that in, and then I multiply by C, and we end up with something amazing. Um, I, I'm sure you'll agree when we're done with this. Um, so now A is 3, 0, minus 2 meters, and we have that minus um, A cross B, which we fortunately have already done. So that's minus 12 square meters divided by... 4 meters, right? Um, well, no, that, that, and that's in the j-hat direction. Okay, good, good, good. Confusing myself. And c is minus 1 meter, 2 meters, minus 1 meter. Oh, look, I mixed all the notation up. Isn't that insane? I'm insane. Okay, so j is actually this one here, so whatever this is is added to the zero. Oh, that, that's going to be okay. So we have um, 3 plus minus 3 meters and minus 3 meters here, right? And then the minus 2 meters here. And then we cross that with minus 1 meter, 2 meters, minus 1 meter. But, you know, we have this long, long chain again. We've got lots and lots of things we have to do. So we go through and we do this procedure again. So, I mean, it would be nice if we had only like one, one or two components in each one. Then we could do the, um, the more reasonable sort of thing here that takes less space and I can get through with much quicker. 
but we don't. So we'll have to go through the whole um, process again. Uh, 3 minus 3 minus 2, minus 1, 2, minus 1, and I've got meters and meters, so I multiply the whole thing by one square meter. Um, so that's, that's what I want to find, right? So um, I'll put the meter squared out here, and we do this one more time. I times minus 3 times... I times quantity, minus 3 times minus 1, minus um, the back contribution, minus 2 times 2, plus J, uh, which is um, minus 2 times minus 1, um, minus um, 3 times minus 1, plus the k direction, oh, we're getting close, uh, I hate that, yeah, I'm getting scared, we're getting too close to the edge. 3 times 2 minus, minus 3 times minus 1, oh, and I'm beyond the edge, aren't I? Okay, all right, so there we are there, we need just a little more room to finish this up. Um, so we have 4 minus minus 4, so that's 8. So we have 8 square meters in the i-hat direction. Then we have 3 minus minus 3, so we have 6. So we have plus 6 square meters in the j-hat direction. Then we have 6... Well, no, this is 2. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, where am I? I've got three minutes before this thing spazzes. Ah, la 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 la. So I have six minus. Um, this one's not supposed to be a minus. So six minus three. So that's um, three square meters in the k hat direction. Um, and actually, that's probably really all we really need to do. I do have that one there. Um, I'll think about it, right? And you'll see in a moment whether I um, actually do it. I don't really know at this point, right? Because I'm going to go get a cup of coffee. And I'm going to I'm going to think about things, including this maybe. And maybe I'll do that D, and maybe I won't. You'll have to see. Okay, well let's let's do just try this some um, and try to finish this up. Um, it shouldn't be a major issue on your end of things. It might be really annoying for mine um, because I'm going to have to go ahead and um, concatenate these two files. Um, so that that'll just be um, less than completely fun, and it'll take a long, long time. But hey. We're not, you know, we don't have to um, really dwell on that. So here I have instead of what I what I had before. This is sort of the most similar thing that I could have to this one, um, just by getting rid of these um, parentheses. Um, another operation. Now, if I was just using numbers and didn't care about the units, then I wouldn't have this b squared. Just like I wouldn't have this. Um, magnitude of b up here, and and it would maybe be a little more pedagogically um, obvious what I'm doing. Um, what I'm doing is um, taking away these parentheses and showing you that you get a different number. Uh, it doesn't work quite as well as it could have um, because of uh, this thing here. Say uh, la vie, right? Say la vie. All right, so b squared is the square of the magnitude of b, and like we said, the magnitude of b is just 4, so that means that's 16 meters squared, and a was still um, 3 meters, 0 meters, minus 2 meters. And um, we've already done a cross b, and we said a cross b was minus 12 square meters in the j-hat direction. We're going to do the cross product of that with c, which is minus one meter in the i hat direction um, times, uh, or plus, excuse me, um, two meters in the j hat direction um, and minus one meter in the k hat direction. 
So we've got all these wonderful things going on. Um, let's do them step by step. First thing is, I guess, go ahead and take this scalar multiplication, 16 square meters times um, 3 meters is 18 cubic meters, meters cubed. Um, 16 times 0 turns out to be 0 meters cubed. And um, 16 times minus 2 is minus, well, that's 16 times 3, that's 48. Um, and 16 times minus 2, that's minus 32 meters cubed. Um, perfectly acceptable. Um, so now we have minus 12 meters, so 12 square meters here um, at times our, uh, well, let's pull out that last meter here, uh, times our um, doohickey i, j, k. Actually, we don't really need that one for this one. We've pulled out the minus 12, so that's one, zero. Because, I mean, this is simple. We could have just done each one of these step by step. And I think that's what I was about to do until um, 30 seconds ago. But we're well on our way to th through this guy, so let's just do it this way. Um, so we have to do that. Um, so let's see, we have our 48 cubic meters, 0 cubic meters, and minus 32 cubic meters. Um, that's cm is not cubic meters, right? Um, plus 12 cubic meters times um, whatever we get from this guy. So if we do our i, that's 1 times minus 1 times minus 0 times 2. So 0, so we just have minus 1 um, in the i hat direction, so minus i hat. For j, we have 0 and 0 here, so we cross multiply and get 0, so there's no j component. Then we have a k component, and that k component is 0 minus minus 1, so that's plus k hat. Okay, so um, that's pretty good. So actually, we still don't have any 0 component there. We, get it, we subtract 12 meters from 48, which is 36 cubic meters. And we then we have zero meters cubed, and we have and we add twelve to thirty two, so we have minus twenty meters cubed, and that's um, our answer right there. Beautiful, wonderful. That's all we needed. Um, so the next video I plan to do gives you a little more interpretation of this, so you'll see see this in action in something that's it's not a real physical situation, but it's about 90%, maybe 75%, but in there, it's almost to a real physical situation. And, um, and we'll get a little more practice in with that and show you some of the things you can actually do with this, the concepts behind it. Uh, thanks for listening. I'll talk to you in a few minutes.